By popular demand, we are finally going to be taking a look at the ASUS Ares Limited Edition graphics card. So only a thousand of these were produced worldwide. And this is the box. Like, seriously, that is the box for one graphics card. It's like, it, it looks like it could contain a good size gaming notebook. Anyway, we've already taken the Ares uh, briefcase out of the box. And this is what it looks like. So if you buy an Aries, you will get something that looks like this. It looks like a briefcase full of money. It has a little Aries logo on it right here. And it is lockable. So uh, if you're transporting your video card and it's not inside your system, you, there's actually combination locks right here. So you can set two separate combinations, one for each side. Uh, they're, they're set to zero by default so that you can actually get it open. It comes with a little booklet attached to the outside that says uh, Birth of a Legend, uh, talks about the, the packaging that they've, uh, that they've used on this particular product to make it really stand out. Makings of a Beast. So they're saying it's going to outperform even the Radeon 5970 by over 32%. So what the Ares does is instead of using two cut down 5870 cores, it uses two complete 5870 cores, a fully custom cooler, and we're going to have a really close look at the cooler. It's just um, outstanding and incredibly heavy. And um, that is how the Ares achieves this fastest single graphics card performance ever benchmark that it does. Okay, so let's have a look at what we have in terms of accessories. We have one Crossfire bridge. We have two PCI Express six pin, dual six pin, two single eight pin adapters because this card requires a lot of power connectors. Next, we've got a DVI to HDMI adapter. Okay, then we have a little Republic of Gamers case badge that you can put on your case. And finally, we have an ASUS Republic of Gamers uh, gaming mouse. It's a laser mouse, we can tell, because it says Class 1 Laser Product on the bottom. All right, it's pretty straightforward looking. You got your mouse wheel, you got two side buttons here, you got a nice little rubberized grip, DPI switch. Anyway, we are not here to see the mouse. We are here to see the graphics card. King of all graphics cards right now. Oh, there's a couple more things. Holy cow, it's heavy. Okay, button functions. Uh, oh, okay, so there's a manual for the mouse. Uh, there's a driver for the mouse. Uh, here's a little quick start guide, and here's how to operate the combination locks. There you go. As well as a VGA driver and manual. Don't use that. Download the latest drivers. If you're not downloading the latest drivers for a card like this, uh, you should probably be smacked because, yeah, you just should. That's just how it works. Okay, so we'll put those back in there, and let's have a look at the Aries. So the first thing you should probably notice about this card it is, is it is longer, taller, and wider than most other graphics cards on the market right now. In terms of outputs, we've got our usual suspects for, uh, in, uh, for ATI iFinity. So we have... There goes a car alarm of all things. We better just pause this for now. And we're back, sorry about that. So we have two DVI HDMI, so that means you can hook up two normal DVI monitors just using an adapter here. And then we have one DisplayPort port. So will you need to use an active adapter or a DisplayPort monitor in, in order to run three displays off this graphics card. We've got an empty slot here so that some of the cooling uh, capability of this cooler is gonna be blown out the back. And the battery ran out. So we're gonna try this one more time. We talked about the connectors, we talked about how some of the heat is going to be exhausted from the back. Let's talk about this cooler a little bit because the cooler on the Ares is completely 100% custom. So it starts in the middle with a 100 millimeter fan. Now this is not your average VGA fan solution. It uses an extremely thick fan for high static pressure so you can see how forward swept these blades are and how deep they go compared to a typical VGA fan. And what it needs that for is in order to push air through these dense copper fin arrangements that are each, okay, each containing not only the copper fin structure but four eight millimeter heat pipes. So there's one of these coolers 
on each of the 5870 cores on this graphics card. So, like I said before, it is more like a 5870X2 and not like a 5970 because a 5970 has two GPUs that are kind of like either a cut down 5870 or a, a beefed up 5850. It's somewhere in between. No, these are true 5870 cores and as such they have power requirements that go a little bit beyond what you'd find with a typical dual graphics card solution. So this card takes one 6-pin PCIe connector and two 8-pin PCIe connectors. To run just one Ares card in your computer, ASUS recommends a 750 watt power supply with 40 amps on the 12 volt rail. That's to run one. I mean, if you're even going to have uh, three PCI Express connectors, you better have um, a dual graphics card ready power supply in the first place. On the back of the card, let's have a look at the cooling once again. This is a thick aluminum plate that has little uh, ribs in it to get a little bit better heat dissipation. But basically, you can see this is incredibly thick compared to the back plates that we typically see on a graphics card. And the reason for that is that it has to cool the memory that is located on the back of the card. So this card has four gigs of memory compared to the, norm the normal two gigs on a 5970. So that gives you double the frame buffer. Now, in terms of other features to talk about, oh yeah, uh, so I mentioned that it was that it was longer, uh, wider, and taller than most graphics cards. So here, just for comparison, I have another uh, fairly beefy graphics card with a, a fairly legit looking cooler on it. This is a GTX 480, and I just want to do a quick size comparison. So I'm going to go ahead and put down the Aries right here. And I just want to show you how big this graphics card is compared to a typical one. So that is a standard height graphics card. <laughs> so you can see that the Crossfire connector is located a good inch higher than the PCI Express or PCI backplate right here. That means that this card is significantly taller than most other graphics cards on the market. In fact, almost all other graphics cards on the market. Even with the heat pipes on the GTX 480 that can cause clearance issues with some cases, it's significantly shorter than the Ares. Now, that's something that you really want to be aware of if you want to install one of these cards. You got to make sure that your case is going to have enough room for this graphics card. Another cool feature I wanted to show you, ASUS does support through software uh, voltage tweaking on this card. So they're saying that you can get dramatically better performance when you overclock the Aries. And this thing is designed from the ground up to just pump voltage through it to overclock the snot out of it because if you're buying the ultimate graphics card you better be getting the ultimate performance. So you can see not only on the back but also on the front we've got huge aluminum plates that cover all of the heat producing components other than the GPUs and the voltage regulation here which is covered by copper. So you can see it goes down there under the fan as well. You've got that ribbed aluminum heat sink and then it comes all the way around see up here on the top here it is, got some more little dots to, uh, to give you more heat, uh, more surface area to dissipate heat, and then around here at the back as well. So this cooler is just a monster, and like I, I swear, when I first picked up the card, I, I, was, I, I was just floored at how heavy it was. I mean, compared to a GTX 480, which is a heavy card with a big cooler, it's got four heat pipes, uh, five heat pipes, sorry, et cetera, et cetera, I mean, this weighs easily double, like double. You would never want to ship your system with one of these installed. No way, no how. Along the lines of voltage tweaking, if you're doing actual voltage mods or if you want to check them, um, you can actually use these contact points back here to check your video card voltages for GPU 1 and GPU 2. So that's a pretty cool feature. We've seen this on motherboards in the past, but it's very, very rare to see a feature like that where you can check your, uh, your video card voltages with a multimeter. So that's a pretty cool one as well, and I think we're getting pretty close to the end. I mean, I, I guess I can say this will install in a standard PCI Express 2.0 16x motherboard slot. So that's something to be aware of, although I don't believe this meets PCI Express specifications because of the power consumption. Let me just have a look at the box, but I doubt there's a PCIe logo anywhere on this box because the PCI Express standard 
calls for only a certain amount of power being pulled through the slot and through the PCI Express connectors. So, um, yep, this is one beefy card, and it is not uh, not within the standards, but that's the price you pay. Uh, oh, last thing in terms of size. So I showed the length, I showed the height, but I didn't show the width. So we've seen a couple cards in the last year or so that have been released with triple slot coolers. This is one of them. So this card will occupy not only the slot with your connectors, but the slot with the vent as well as the next one because you can see that the shroud here takes up some space and even the copper fins with the uh, with the 8 mil heat pipes going through them are a little bit too high for a dual slot cooler. So ASUS really wanted to emphasize cooling and performance on this, not necessarily a compact size and form factor. So I think that covers pretty much everything I wanted to say about the Aries. And uh, I hope that's everything that you guys wanted to know. I've had so many requests for an unboxing of this card. And thank you for checking out my video blog. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, here, one last look. Oh, so heavy at the Aries. Cameraman inspired me to come in and actually show you the weight difference between a GTX 480. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on our scale. So a GTX 480 weighs about two pounds. This isn't the most accurate scale in the world, but it should give you some idea. So then we'll go ahead and put that away. And this is the Aries. Oh, 4.8 pounds. So this is a, a true heavyweight. One of those graphics cards weighs more than two GTX 480s.